My name is Franny Lee, and I'm the Associate Director of the Stanford Intellectual Property Exchange. I like to say that I do law because I love music. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. I was a musician, I was a jazz vocalist, and what I do now I see as the extension of trying to help people be creative and find ways to support themselves in being artists. Jupiter or Mars. Enough? I fundamentally believe in copyright law because at the base of it, it's a method for society to continue improving itself. Copyright is important because it provides stimulus to creators to continue to try to create. It's embedded in our Constitution, and the resulting copyright code is intended to make it uh, possible for those who create copyrightable materials, books, articles, journals, films, music, to uh, get some reward for having created these items if they're uh, used and paid for in the marketplace. Whether it's in an academic environment or a user-generated content environment, like someone making a video for YouTube and wants to pair it with a song they hear, it's really hard to figure out who you need to get rights from, what kind of rights you need to get. If you make it easier for people to, to understand what their rights are in content and to use content legitimately, you will get more legitimate use. The CIPIX project is a system that helps make copyrights easier to the everyday person. It gets the law out of the way. In particular, copyright law shouldn't be an impediment to innovation. And, and our system is just trying to make it easy. It simplifies it. We're asking the question, can we in fact make it possible for computer systems not just to um, process the law as documents that humans need to read, but can we actually render the law into a form, a computable form, that computers can work with to do legal analysis or limited legal analysis in certain domains, to look at the data about a situation and to suggest that a person might be in violation of one or other laws or regulations. We've deployed CIPIX at Stanford campus now, so we are facilitating over a thousand students. We provide the print-on-demand course readers. One of the primary businesses of Konica Minolta is printers. In particular, they have a printer which prints books, not just papers. So if you send the documents to the printer, it will output a book, a bound book. So it seemed to us that there was an opportunity there for course readers. The professor has a variety of articles. We'd like them to combine them together and produce a book. The beauty of their printer is it's custom printed. He can push the button, it will print, and he can pick it up in a matter of minutes or hours. If we have to intersperse, a process of copyright clearance that takes days that destroys that potential. CIPIX is agnostic to the type of distribution it does. All it really cares about is how to help people do their copyright transactions faster. So in the print-on-demand setting, it's the same technology that's facilitating the digital setting, and we are giving students, in many of these cases, um, a choice of what they'd like to consume their educational materials in. Well, before CIPEX happened, the course reader used to be done through the Stanford Bookstore. It was first very long and second very expensive for students. This time around, it seemed to me that the process was very quick. We started in early March uh, to get the copyright cleared and within just a few days, the, the person I was working with got back and said, yes, we got everything cleared. And this time around, we were able to get the entire thing assembled, printed to the student for $48. So it's a significant cost savings for the student. And one of the things we check against is uh, whether or not the person who wants to use this copyright already has permission to use it. And these things happen more often than you would think. We're building a real solution, which is not sort of the typical thing people do in law schools. Uh, so for me, that's, that's, that's very, very exciting to have this opportunity to work on projects that actually, you know, become real solutions. Media X, I see as um, one of the catalysts that have brought all of this together. They were the first ones to connect us with Konica Minolta. It's probably a project that would not have happened if MediaX had not been there to help to put us in touch with, in this case, our funder, and to get the funding to get us to the point where we are today. We're hearing from General Counsel of Stanford that because it's been made so much easier to clear copyrights, that we are helping the school lower its copyright infringement liability. The professor and the researcher on the Publish and Demand project in the MediaX is giving us a lot of uh, 
variable information and also variable aspect and a different angle to us. This is a very great opportunity for us. What I want SIPIX to do is fix copyright so that creativity can flourish and society will get literature and art and music and authors will get paid and be able to support themselves on what they create and continue to create and continue to hone their crafts. And I feel like this is an important place for me to be.